said, uh, what do you like to eat? And this one here said, the other cat had some kidney trouble or something. One of them had some kidney problems for a while. And one of the cats said, I love to lay on that red cover. And it's a real soft red cover. Do you have cover. a red cover? I have a couch with a cover on it that's red. Right. Yeah. Really? Now, now, Beatrice, what would, this, yeah. what would you charge uh, Michael for this if you were... Uh... Well, when a person comes to me, they generally have a problem. Like uh -huh. William Shatner came one time with his dogs. And by the way, he's wonderful to his animals. They really love their animals. And the dog Did, did was the animals having... tell you that or did he tell you that? The animals told me yeah, that. that they, and I, I saw it too. Yeah. You can see it. They Do you really care a lot? Do you take care of lots of celebrity yeah. animals? I mean, celebrity yeah. dogs, celebrity cats. And... Well, horses are kind of my specialty. I'm yeah. a bloodstock agent, and uh, so I went out and talked. To... Well, right. I buy racehorses oh, for people, okay. and yeah. most of them turned out to be top money makers uh -huh. uh, because they know whether they want to run or not, even when they're babies. And they, they tell know you. It. Yeah. I talked with one horse one time. And this horse was limping all the time, so they said they called me in to find out what was wrong with the horse. And the horse said, well, I found out if I limped, I don't have to race, and I hate the racetrack. So he, they took him out and said, well, we'll make him into a hunter jumper. So he went out, and he took one look at the jump course. He said, I'm not going over those sticks. And he, no <laughs> way. They made them, him right? go over, and he got sick. So he was going back to the barn past the dressage ring. He says, that's what I want to do. So now he's in training, and they feel someday he's going to be an Olympic dressage So horse. on the way back, the horse kind of under his breath says to you, <laughs> that's what I want to do. Yeah. Uh, do we have time for one more? Let's bring Wait, out, uh, no, let's, okay, I tell you what, let's bring out Mickey. Let's go on down here to, uh, okay. yeah, Sarah, right there. Okay, this is Sandra Furton. Sandra Furton, our very own Sandra Furton. Sandra, come on out here with, with uh, Mickey. 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 Ooh, Mickey. This is my favorite breed. I raise these. I have eight of them. Uh -huh. And I show them. And I now, what's on else. Mickey's mind here? Okay, I asked Mickey, I said, what do you really want to do in life? Yeah. And he said, I want to learn protection work, and I want to be a protection dog. I want to learn to work. You know, that's, I want to have he jobs. told me he wants to attend an Ivy League school. <laughs> Either the dog has been around it or has been around another animal who's told him all about what it's like being a police dog or a protection dog. Now, has he been, he ever been around do. another dog, Sandra, that's told him this? No. <laughs> has he ever been here? Well... He's seen it He's somewhere. He's picked it up on the he street. You're going to have to start somewhere. keeping him in more. I, now, maybe he lied. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Good me. His dog, lie. Bob, lied to me on the Johnny Carson show. Yeah, but I know. He did. Lying. Bob did lie. <laughs> now, uh, when I asked him, I said, where do you go? He said, I like to go to the park, and yeah. I like to play tug-of-war with my lead. And he said, I don't like the hard red ball. I like the tennis ball, but she doesn't want me to have the tennis balls because I pop them. Yeah, that's tough. He doesn't have a tennis ball. Beatrice. No, he doesn't have one. Beatrice, we got to go. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be right back here with Carol Cheney.